What's going on, my good black people? It's your girl, Keish, and welcome, and welcome back to the Keish TV. Today, I have for you guys the HEB haul. It's not, it's not a lot, but, you know, it's, it's, it's all right. And, uh, y'all, happy Friday. Happy Friday. We are, what, two more days before the end of the BBBE challenge by Carnivore Quest. Oh, Cassie and Larry, I love you guys. You know, thank y'all for creating this challenge. Um, I, I know what I'm weighing right now, but I'm still going to weigh myself on Monday and everything. But it's not a lot. It, it's not a lot. But, but it, you know, it's not a lot. But I'm, I'm feeling stronger. You hear me? I'm feeling stronger. And I'm, I'm moving. Girl... I'm actually moving, you know, you know. But anyway, y'all, uh, I have some things for that I'm going to eat Monday because I'm going to say this, May 1st and May 2nd, I'm going to eat what I want, and from May 3rd on, I'm going to be carnivore, just straight carnivore, but I'm going to be a carnivore that occasionally... Nah, not occasionally, sparingly eat avocados. But, you know, that's not a hint or there. But I have some stuff for May 1st and May 2nd. So don't don't get triggered, people. Don't get triggered, my good black people. Let's go ahead and stop this. Right here, I have some of these double zipper storage gallon bags. Ooh, I'm doing this on top of my baby uh, puzzle. So, y'all. I hope I don't fuck it up. But anyway, I got this. Oh, I see Janelle. I got a new bag. It's not my Jesus bag. But, I mean my Joseph bag. But I still got a new bag. And uh, this bag more of a hindrance than a help. Like my Joseph bag. I got this from Timu. And, I mean, it's cute and everything. But I prefer my, my old bag. I have some organics grade A. Extra large eggs. Hold up. Let me make sure. All right, I had to make sure. Extra large organics. Eggs. I found that they sell the flats, the chicken wing portions. I got me some flats. I got two of them, actually. I got two wings, and it's just the flats. I am a flats girl. Don't get me wrong. I am a, you know, equal opportunity chicken eater, you hear me? But I love flats more. So, yeah. I have two of these butters, two salted butters. I have this, uh... Uncare hard salami and Kobe jerk cheese thing for Curtis. I it's either for Curtis or my baby. I don't know. It's for one of them, but even so, it came in. It was in my order. So I have this uh, caramel macchiato iced coffee. Curtis kills this. He, he kills it. He kills. It. I have some. Wild tone skins. I told y'all Monday I will be wilding. So be looking for what I'm making on Monday with that. And it's not egg rolls. Oh, it's not egg rolls. I have some. What is this? Lump blend crab meat. Let me just put this on here. It's on the bag like that. And stuff. I have I have some watermelon or a chill. Let's put this right here. I'm gonna put it in the front. Put that there. So Y'all can kind of see it. Right. I have some Colossal Gulf Brown Shrimp Shell on. 
And these are like some super colossal shrimp. They're really big. So, you know, that's a, that's a good thing. I like larger shrimp. I have an avocado. And last but not least, please come help me with this, please. Come pick this up. Y'all know why I go to HEB, y'all. I have some beef fat trimmings. Uh, they asked me, one man was like, what is that? I said it's beef fat trimmings. He was like, if you don't mind me asking you, what do you do with that? I said, I cut it up, cook it, and eat it. He was like, it's just fat. I say, but there are so many things you can do with this fat. Basically, what you can do, you can cut it up. You can make you some little uh, beef bites. You can make you some, you can make beef tallow. You can cook it down um, and render the uh, the earl from it, the grease and everything, you know, with, through a strainer, you know, strain it. And you have you some beautiful, beautiful beef fat, you hear me? And you can cook with the beef fat. You can fry foods in your beef fat, if you will, you know, without having to go get canola or uh, vegetable oil, all them other oils and stuff like that. Um, I say, you know, and you can also, also you can use this, you can use this as a lotion. You know, well, not, you know, don't just rub the meat on your own, you hear me? <laughs> I mean, you can... You know, after you rendered it and it has uh, congealed and it didn't got hard or whatever, you can use it as, you know, skin moisturizer. You know, you can use it as lotion and it actually works. I don't know, I think I have carpal tunnel in my hand because right up in here, right up in here, it just hurts so, so bad. But um, anyway, you know, I tell them, I say, it's so many things, there's so many possibilities. I say, you can even make this like, I say, I make burnt butter bites and you can actually do this with the beef tallow that comes from this you know um i say and it, it's really good there's so many things you can do with beef fat you know and honestly it does not hurt you far as with your health because i am seeing that all you know that everything my cholesterol y'all my cholesterol is good my um my cholesterol is is so good, you know, and it's so good to where, as the doctor told me, I should be eating some carbs, you know, and I'm like, damn, is it that y'all want to keep a motherfucker sick so that, you know, y'all can keep getting money off them? You should be happy that, you know, a patient is trying to improve themselves, but even so, that's not here nor there, but at the same time, I told him, I said, so many things you can do with beef fat is so versatile, you know what I'm saying? He's like... He said, look at that. Our black people are so ingenuitive. I said, I thought you knew, you know. But, uh, yeah, and then I had an altercation. Not really even an altercation. You know, like they had these people in the back, you know, when I went to get the seafood and everything. And, like, I'm, I'm sitting there. I'm, I'm waiting. You know, you can see me through this glass. Through this glass. You can see me through it. The glass clear. You hear me? And... They go help this man, that man, this one. I said, wait a minute, don't nobody. I said, y'all don't see me back here? Y'all don't see me right here? And, um, he's like, oh, oh, The man was like, oh, I'll get you, I'll get you. And, you know, he walked up, you know, he was like, you know, he said, give me one moment. And he went and did something. But at the same time, the lady was like, you know, she was like, I'm so sorry I didn't see you. And I was getting my phone out to call my baby to see where they at. You know, she was like, oh my God, I am so, so sorry. I didn't mean, I'm like, like, what you think I'm doing? I'm not. I said, you know, I said, so calm down, calm down. You know, she was like, but I am so sorry. You know, please accept my apologies. I didn't see you there. Y'all look me dead in my face. All three of y'all look me dead in my face and go act like you ain't see me. Bitch, I'm this goddamn big. You ain't missing me. You ain't missing the quiche. Come on, man. You ain't missing me. Please stop that. Stop that. That's not cute. That ain't cute. Bitch, I'm this big. I'm gigantic. You ain't fucking missing me at all. You hear me? Stop. Stop. 
Just, just let it go. But anyway, y'all, that was the only, that was the only bad part of the trip. I started to not even get this shit because this cost $27. And this, this, uh, this lump crab, even though it's not what I wanted, because it's like the lump, it's like some jumbo lump and then some, uh, like, uh, other pieces and stuff like that, you know, it's not exactly what I wanted. This cost $23. I started to say, fuck y'all and y'all seafood. But no, I wasn't going to let nobody ruin, ruin my dick. You hear me? And that, that's, a, I say all that to say this. Don't let nobody ruin your day. They may try to play with you, tell you dumb shit, or act like they don't see you or whatever. Don't let nobody ruin your day. Because I started not to even get this. And just come home and just say, fuck you. Just eat me some beef and call it a day. I... I ain't going to lie, I did kind of stress eat, you know, I did, so, and, you know, when I stress eat, let me show you, let me get my food out for y'all, let me show y'all what I eat, where is it, oh, it's to the bottom, <laughs> to the bottom, I have pork belly bites, as y'all can see, Pork belly bites. This is what I was eating and stuff, you know, because it, it stressed me out. I am an emotional eater, but I feel like if I'm going to eat, if I'm going to eat when I'm stressed out, I'd rather it be something healthier than a bag of chips, you know, than a cold drink, than a, you know, than a, a, a candy bar. Then, you know, I'd rather it be something like that. And that's why last night, on my baby live, I was making, um, I was making some pork belly bites because I'm like, you know, fuck that. I know I'm going somewhere and I know I'm going to be gone all damn day. So I might as well go ahead on and get it together while I can. You hear me? So I just made those pork belly bites and there you go. There you go. But, um, uh, anyway, y'all, this is it. This is my whole grocery haul in a nutshell. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love y'all. Y'all take care. Be blessed. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thank you for coming and watching and rocking with the girl. And until next time, always remember to smile, smile, smile. Because you woke up this morning above ground, not under. You heard me? Not under. You heard me? Come on. And you woke up in your right mind. And when you woke up, you were blessed. Stay there with y'all. I love y'all. Y'all stay safe out there. Y'all have a wonderful weekend. And also, pray for the girl because I'm going to take my test. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to do it sooner than um, a week and a half. I'm trying to do it something like, I'm actually trying to do it Monday or Tuesday. If they let me. Now, if they let me, then I'll let y'all know. But if not, I'll let y'all know. But until next time, I love y'all. Y'all stay safe out there, guys. Peace.